This one is the ball drop, or I've heard some call it a drama queen drop. There's probably lots of names for it. So before you start on this one, you definitely should be comfortable and solid in a pull sit, okay? So if you're solid in your pull sit, that's basically the basis of where this ball drop starts. So initially, absolutely in this one, start slow because you wanna learn how to be able to use your braking system before you start trying to drop it too dramatically, okay? So start with little drops. So for this one, let's talk about the mechanics of what's going on. In a pull sit, we tilt our hips to the side and that locks us in. Okay, so when I go into my pull sit, I lean and then it catches that hip. If I square my hips, I slide, okay? The drama queen bullet drop is very similar, okay? So I'm tilting and that when I untilled, that's part of what my drop is. That's only one part, okay? Keep in mind, all shapes and sizes, different size thighs, thigh gap, no thigh gap, which means that your tilt is gonna vary for everyone, okay? So the legs are part of it other part that goes in, and there's all kinds of variations on the ball drop, but another part that goes in is this arm, okay? So this is an additional breaking system right here. Think about it is when we're in an outside leg hang, inside leg hang, this arm, and if you haven't worked on those yet, that's okay, it's still the same concept, right side up, upside down, so if you haven't worked on outside leg hangs yet, here's a jump start on it. This arm is pushing back into the pole and kind of squishing to my body, so that's also a little break, okay? So I have one between my legs, two here, and then an optional third. Some people use this hand, some people don't. So the way this is gonna work is you're gonna go from your pulse set, you can have the legs bent or straight, okay? If your legs are bent, this inside leg, the leg that's now closest to the pole, also can work as a little bit of a break as it touches the pole. This inside arm reaches back. You can grab, you can keep it straight, up to you. This hand is grabbing, okay? so. Like I said, this hand is optional. Some people keep it out. Some people keep it in. In the very beginning, I think of this hand as your e-brake, okay? This and this is your brake pedal on your car. This is your e-brake. Although in this modern day and age, I feel like a lot of cars don't even have an e-brake anymore. But anyways, <laughs> this is your final, like, in emergencies pull handle, okay? So this hand is here holding on. One thing to be cautious of is I find a lot of people, because they don't trust this and this, and we're very hand-oriented, it's just how we've gone through our lives, they tend to hold on too much with this hand. And so the end result is that when they go to do their drop, everything else opens and this arm doesn't and they end up getting stuck and hanging themselves, okay? So just be aware of that, that this hand should be there as like an emergency, but it's not your primary. If anything, maybe try putting it like gently on the pole so that it kind of keeps you in the pole, but try to resist using this hand as much as possible and have it be more in this arm and in your hip. Okay, so initially when you start with it, one, maybe two climbs up and just start with a stop, go, stop, go. It's like a new driver starting out. You don't put them on the freeway for the first time and have them going 65. You have them start to learn how to stop and start driving along, you know, residential areas and stuff before you take them to the big leagues. Same thing with your ball drop. Okay, so maybe one or two climbs up to your pulse it, lean to the side. Okay, circle that arm around so you feel it in the armpit. You can bend the legs or not, and just kind of a little, a little, a little, okay? And start to feel the stop and the start, okay? As you start to get a little bit more comfortable with it, then maybe you let yourself drop a little bit farther before you, er, er, and so it's learning, you know, get to know your thighs. How much do you need to cross? How much do you need to uncross, okay? So start in little increments, and then as you get more and more comfortable with it, then you can make it more dramatic, and take it all the way down, you know, little New Year's Eve ball drop, okay? So ball drop, try it out, be careful. Like I said, start with very small drops, learning how to control it, learning how to be comfortable with your braking system before you start taking it all the way to the top and dropping a million miles an hour, okay? Ball drop, have fun.